So you used to be able to play the Republic, you were ranked 10. When you go to the Republic, the first game, they just had two games recently against England. We had none of the league and draw nil each, clean sheet away from home. Just a number of girls made their debut. All of them did, none of these girls had ever put on the all right, we weren't wearing green yesterday, but had never worn a Northern Ireland jersey. There's some wonder young players here who the Northern Ireland public don't know now maybe. But you see over the no next number of years, these will be some of the, the backbone of our senior international team. Really exciting crop, as good a crop of young players that we've had for many years. Wearing the captain's armband, it was a, like a really proud moment for me and like my family because it's like every person's dream to like represent your country, but like they also wear the armband, so it was a really proud moment. Everyone like has their own personal goals that we're all trying to achieve together as a team. And it's just in preparation for Serbia and the meetings have been really good. Like Alfie's really got all of us like well prepared and like well he likes to say buzzing, so we're all we're all buzzing. For us it's not really about the result. Yes, we want to win, we want to do well, but for our job here is now is to prepare young players that will put the, the green jersey of Northern Ireland on as a senior international, or they'll have full time careers or they'll play at the highest level in Northern Ireland. So it's about the process and their development and how they learn. And that's what we're very keen on on all aspects of it. And so these girls have a great opportunity now in their development to be playing three top countries at such a young age. They were literally straight into elite ranks, so fantastic experience for them. For me growing up, it, it was more street football, that's how you learn learned your skills back then. And just to see again what's put in place here for the kids now. You know, it's proper sessions each day, they're learning and from a young age they're able to develop their technical st skills and as they get older hopefully it, it's a platform for, for them to build on. I do feel that we have the right pathway set in place, like by often they know that a lot of us can achieve that dream because it's a lot of our dreams to play across the water in England and I do believe that we have the right tools in place and just keep working hard and I think a few of us could get there. So with four centres, with approximately 240 girls across the four centres, there's fantastic work going on, the girls are buying in it. Obviously the success of the senior team is a great hunger and drive now and a lift in women's football and we're delighted with that and we want to make sure that pathway continues, that us qualifying for a tournament isn't a one-off, that we are producing the players and if somebody wants to come on any Tuesday night to any of those centres and look at the, the quality of the young girls that's in it, they'll be delighted and I think they'll be very much surprised at how good they all are. Whether it's at home in, in the, the Irish Premier League or, or across the water, you know, they've, they've got the facilities, they've got the bases are now, everything's in place for, for them is to have the opportunity to be the, the best footballer that the, that the girls or the boys can be. Over the last you know, 13 years or something, we've had 44, 45 girls have come through our pathway to play senior national football, which I think is a fantastic achievement. It reflects well you know, on the IFA and all the staff who've been involved in that development over the last number of years to get those number of people through. Some of the young players here are nice. It's fantastic to see and I think there's a really, really bright future for Northern Ireland going forward.